Today I'll be talking about the answer to the question, where in the Mushroom Kingdom is Mario? We need to be able to take a 256 by 208 RGB image of someone playing Super Mario Bros and return four integers, the world, area, area pointer, and the X location of the screen within that area pointer. And we need to do that live so that we can combine multiple runners onto the same screen at the same time. The world and area are easy. They're literally printed on the screen. We can extract a bunch of these tiles, classify them by hand, and then train a simple convolutional neural network to differentiate them. We do have to have an extra category for not a digit. The area pointer is harder. There are 34 different area pointers spread between the 32 different levels. Some levels only have one area pointer, but some have two or more. For example, 6-2 has five different areas corresponding to four unique area pointers. To differentiate these, I'm also using a simple convolutional neural network. One is trained for each level that needs it. The hard one is the X location within the area pointer. First of all, we have the minor problem of duplicate locations. These can be even more subtle than this problematic section in 8.4. For example, this screen is familiar not only for being the same as the start in 1.1, but it also shows up twice in 4.1, near the beginning and near the end. The worst offender is 8.4, followed by 4.4 and 8.1. The main area pointers in these levels contain many identical looking locations. We will deal with this later. This part of the code processes frames independently and in parallel, primarily on the GPU, but later we will look at the results in sequence and correct these sorts of things. Back to 1-1 one, one, though, once we know we are in area pointer 2-5, the overworld section, the screen could be scrolled to one of 3,201 different possible locations. That's too many to deal with without a little care. My key idea for handling this large output space is to first determine the screen's X location mod 16. Think of it as where we are scrolled to within the underlying 16x16 16 16 world grid. Okay, so here we are in the software again. So on the left hand side, you'll see the video coming out of the NES fed into the machine learning pipeline, which will put these annotations on it. And on the right hand side, you'll see the actual reconstruction of what is on screen from just that very, that very slight bit of information. So here we have, we know that we're in the start screen, for example. I know that we start the game, we're in a title screen. Um, we know that we're in 1-1 one, one, and uh, we know where we are in 1-1. One, one. So if I jump, you know, just to show that, yes, it is live, it's doing this uh, live and look, it can see where I'm at, it'll follow along. So the only thing that's really missing here is the where Mario is on screen and where the different sprites are on screen. So I can tell basically everything else, um, but I still need to find that. So that'll be coming. Um, in the previous comparison videos that you've, that you've seen, I've done some of that by hand, um, and that's to collect training data to make, it all, to make it all work. Now, one of the problems with that is that I need it to work live. It needs to be fast enough to take multiple ones at a time and combine them all together. And already I'm running up against some GPU out of memory type stuff. So I'm going to have to spend some, uh, some time and uh, money on a new GPU probably and uh, see what we can do to, to take this all the way there. So, hey, getting close. There's still so much work to do. My plan is to release weekly videos through 2021. I have some more comparisons coming, eventually of full runs, more tech videos like this one, and eventually we'll make our way to the live stuff. Thanks for sticking around.